Hey everybody, welcome to Try This at Home. My name is Jimmy. Now here in NatureWorks at the Orlando Science Center, you can see animals of all many different shapes and sizes from many of Florida's different ecosystems. Now, you can find animals here from all over the place. But what sort of things are hiding in your own backyard? Well, let's find out if you try it at home. So the beauty of this experiment is that it can happen just about anywhere. You need to find an open space, kind of like this dirt patch right here. Or if you have a sandbox or even a baking pan full of flour, that'll work just fine. Over here, we've got a setup of a half mix of flour and sand. So we got a nice base, but it also picks up every little detail of our animal tracks that we'll find. So to make this experiment work, you're gonna need some creamy peanut butter, a couple of oats, and something to smear it on. You don't wanna use any sort of meat products because you might attract some rather unfriendly animals. So what we've got here is our little base that we're gonna keep right in the middle of our track yard. I'm gonna keep it right there just like that. I'm gonna roll this in some of our oats. Look at that. It's a nice little tasty treat for anything. So now our bait is set. Smooth over the flour and sand mixture as best you can. You don't want to have anything that might look like a track by mistake. Okay? Now set this out just before nightfall, and then in the morning, you should see something fairly interesting. Let's find out. Something's obviously been through here. Look, our, our bait has been knocked over. It's almost been completely consumed. And these little spots and footprints here where there weren't before. Now we can tell that there's been a few different types of animals that come through here. You can tell certain tracks apart. If you find something with only three toes, chances are pretty good it was a bird. If you find something with four toes or five, it might be some kind of a mammal like a dog or a cat. Now this particular one that we found, it has five toes with little claws on it. And because of its size, we can tell it belongs to something like a raccoon. And they're actually pretty common in this area. So take some pictures or draw a sketch like I did, and we can try to identify exactly what kind of animal you might have in your own backyard.